I was a bit surprised, uh, but it's an honor. And uh, from the email I got notified. I'm glad that the email make it clear that they recognize two things. Uh, one is the, that my academic work that contributed not only to study of Thailand and Southeast Asia, but also the, how to say, uh, also the implication and uh, it's relevant to the larger, beyond the Thailand and beyond Southeast Asia. That's the first thing I'm, I'm very glad. Second thing is that they recognize that I'm, all the time, all this time, I have involved not directly, not closely, but at least follow and still have some role to play in the struggles for democracy and justice in Thailand. So I, I'm glad that they recognize both because both are important things in my life as a, as a scholar and as a person. I take history seriously. It's really important, not because it is a kind of knowledge that, in my opinion, is very variable. But also, I, I, I think history is a kind of dangerous knowledge too. I mean, if, if human cannot handle it well, natural history, for example, naturalist history, could be harmful. Could be could hurt people. So, how to say? Uh, I hope that for the younger historians realize both the contribution and the possibility that it could it could harm uh, people. Uh, but on all, overall, I see history is is a is a very important subject, a very important way to think about the world, because it, it shows us uh, the way to understand the present in different ways. And if you understand the past differently, you would understand the present differently, which also means the possibility of, for a better future. So for, for uh, young historians, I have a few things that uh, all historians need. Uh, many historians will say the same thing. Uh, all historians need is good questions. Questions are so important because questions lead us to a different past. People may not realize questions lead us to a different past. And then questions come from where? Questions come from criticism, skepticism about what you know about the present. And then when you dig up the past, you learn about the past, uh, be critical, be skeptical to existing historical knowledge. Because uh, whatever we are in the present, to some extent, is built on such and such knowledge of the past. If we want to build a new future, a better future, we need to rethink, revisit the past again and again. So. Critical and skepticism to the present, uh, critical and skepticism to existing knowledge about the past, uh, and uh, good imagination, of course. Uh, but the, uh, the last thing depends on everyone's politics, depends on everyone's moral value. It's, it's a, I call it a good heart for the future. I mean, knowing the past, knowing the present is for, is for what? To, to do something for the future whether they want to get rich, whether they want to get powerful, whether they want to do something to help people, fighting for democracy, justice, uh, people are different. I would say historical knowledge would be very able to, to whatever aims, whatever objective in people's life.